Hi friends and welcome to another video. My name is Jess, I am a self-employed foot health practitioner and in today's video guys, I have 11 different ways to build your client list and I'm gonna mention them all to you guys today. Let's do this. The first thing on my list is word of mouth. Now you're probably saying, Jess, how can I create a word of mouth and I don't really have that many clients yet? If you have friends, you've got family, you've got colleagues, you've got ex-colleagues, let them be your word of mouth. Let them go out forth into the nation and spread the news <laughs> that you are now a foot health practitioner and that you're great, that you're a great person and so forth, whatever it is that they wanna say about you to help you get your name out there. The next thing is to get to know other foot health practitioners in your area. So for example, when I don't have uh, appointments for particular days, I know that I can contact another foot health practitioner and say, do you, have you got space? Would you be able to take this client on? And vice versa, they have also contacted me and said, Jess, would you be able to do this or see this person? And it really does help. Now this doesn't just have to be foot health practitioners. This can also be podiatrists as well. I know that I've referred quite a few of my clients clients onto podiatrists and I know that there are some podiatrists that also refer people onto foot health practitioners as well. Number three is get your business cards and your leaflets out there. Now this doesn't just have to be door to door although that is very helpful. You can also leave your leaflets in you know the target area that you want to gain your clients you know such as sports halls or you know coffee mornings that older people may go to wherever it is that you feel your target clientele is try and get your leaflets out there and your business cards so what's really good about business cards is that when you're out and about just doing what, what whatever you do whether it's picking up your kids from school whether you're at a bus stop or wherever you know and you get talking to people well you know some of us do anyway you know so so when you're talking to people you can say actually I'm a foot health practitioner and then you can whip out your business card and say here here's my business card you know and so forth <laughs> the next thing that I'm going to mention is social media social media is like one of the best ways to get your name out there although I know that a lot of people don't really go on social media as much as what they're used to but it still does work so there are places like Facebook there is the next door app which guys I think is amazing by the way. Uh, there's Instagram if you want to go down the picture route, you know, people that are looking at pictures and then they see your before and afters type of stuff. There are different platforms that you can go on to, you know, show people your work so that they can see actually this girl is really good or this guy is really good. I'm gonna book an appointment with him. So social media is very, very good if you use it right. Number four is Try and get your details in like a parish news or, you know, a local newspaper or something like that. The parish news, I can definitely say, is fantastic. You know, you know, like when I mentioned earlier that, you know, you can get your leaflets, you can do door-to-door -door and so forth. With these parish magazines, they've already done the job for you. Basically, you pay them to put the advert in these parish news and then they deliver it to multiple, multiple addresses. So could you imagine the amount of people that see your advert? And the good thing about these magazines is that people keep them for a long time because obviously they've got other information in there as well. So it's a really nice uh, way to get your name out there and for people to, you know, to see you and you know, become visible, <laughs> especially to the older generation, the older population, because they're the ones that really seem to read a lot of these parish magazines. So yeah, get your advert out there. I know that when I did it, I think it cost about 25 pounds for me. It could be cheaper elsewhere. 25 pounds, you know, for the season, um, for a quarter of the year. And yeah, it's all good. I've, I've gained quite a few clients through that route. The other thing that I wanted to mention was to get to know other small businesses businesses, business owners, <laughs> because they will really help you out. You support them, they support you. And I do really feel like it, it really does work. So get to know those small businesses in your area, promote them on your, you know, your social media or whatever. And I'll tell you what, they'll probably do the same for you as well. So that is definitely something to consider doing. Next on my list is to go to events or create your own if you want to, but go to events. So there are places like the pensioners group. There's also the women's institution, which always looks for speakers. So try and find groups like that 
or somewhere where you can promote your business. So the next thing on my list is to create some offers. So one thing that I have done is a refer a friend. Now I did this for a certain amount of time so it isn't always running. So I've made a time frame for this. So what I would do is I would say to one of my clients, if you refer a friend, then I will give you five pounds off your next treatment and five pounds off for your friend as well. Another offer would be your first appointment being, I don't know, 10% off or something like that. You know, give some discounts. That is a way of gaining new clients. So it is an option. So, you know, if you feel like doing that, then, you know, that could be a way for you to gain some new clients. Next, is to approach care homes or rehabilitation homes so you can send in your details to the manager or email them your details so your name where you trained um you know that your dbs checked all that type of information that they may need and then see what happens see whether they contact you and say you know yep we're looking for a foot health practitioner to deal with our you know residents feet so that is a different route that you could go down if you want to gain i guess clients I wouldn't know whether they're clients because some of them like for example the rehabilitation center you know you're dealing with different people but one thing is that is good is that the care homes or the rehabilitation homes they have your name and they have your number and they will contact you they've got your details on file okay <laughs> that was a bit long-winded but you know what I mean <laughs> So there are a lot of online directories, directories, um, such as yell.com or Thompson's. There's also Google as well. So you can set up yourself a Google My Business and people can find you via the search that way as well. So there are a lot of online directories. See which ones that you want to put your details on. You know, some of them are free. Some of them you have to pay for. Uh, but it is another way to get your name out there. Now this one uh, I recently uh, found out about and I think is a fab idea and that's to get yourself on the county council website. Now a lot of these, I don't know whether it does in your particular area but it is worth looking into. So these county council websites, they have like this community hub and it's got like loads of people's details like businesses or um, different services that serve the community, you know, social wise or health wise so that is a way that you can also make yourself known to people that go on these community hubs and they're looking for something in particular so yeah have a little look and see whether your county council website has it and if they do send them an email and it's free by the way to put your name on it and your details they usually ask for your um your marketing uh, leaflets or something like that and then you just email it across and then they happily put it on their website so great option i think that one is okay guys so next is to get a website now websites can be a little bit pricey depending on where you get it by the way because some of them aren't too pricey so have a little look around and you know get your website out there when people search on the search engine hopefully your website will come up make sure to put uh, keywords in there you know that people would be searching for and hopefully your website will eventually reach the top of the search engine and people will be flocking to you so guys those are the 11 or 12 ways in which you can build your client list some of these may work some of them may not you know it's up to you but at least there's a choice out there that you can think okay maybe I'll try that one or that one you know I just hope this video helps you guys, okay? <laughs> if it don't work, don't blame me. <laughs> okay, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!